Hello? Hey, John, how's it going, man? Okay. Good afternoon, guys. What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It has just been an insanely busy, jam-packed, Weekend, it's I've been going non-stop still have not stopped, but uh, we just got back from the Motorama event Which was amazing. It was awesome. I love 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 meeting you guys talking to you guys uh, The builds that you guys got going on. I, I love listening and talking to you guys and you know just communicating I, I, I love it. I love it. I love doing events um, and and that's the whole plan is to do a ton more events this year uh, Travel more get out there more try and fly out to places where I'm never gonna be able to drive to do meetups do more events all over the place so it's not just local people that I get to experience that and I get to hang out with you guys so I'm gonna try and do that for everyone I'm gonna try my best anyway but uh, that will be coming in the future but anyway for today's video it's gonna be kind of short it's gonna be a little quick as you guys maybe have seen if you follow my Instagram I'll put it up here um, I did ask for some questions for a short Q&A we're gonna try and get back into the normal schedule coming off an event weekend uh, back into the videos at the shop we're at the home garage now um, the person that I the John I know like 17 Johns the John that we just answered was John from Freedom Racing Engines and that we were gonna be getting into that in the first part of the Q&A. We do have two things from the P.O. Box as well that we're gonna open up quick and then roll into the Q&A and then we'll be back to normal working on stuff in the garage videos until we then have to leave again probably shortly which I'll again get to second part of this video. One other thing I wanna to add to as well is just thank you guys so, so much. You guys get pumped to meet me and see me and talk to me. I get just as pumped to hang out and talk to you guys as well. So it's awesome. Thank you guys, everyone who, who drove, you know, short, far, everything in between to come out and hang out and support me, support Wrenchworks, hang out, talk to Allie. Allie was there, she was meeting everybody too. Um, it was just an awesome, awesome experience. So thank you guys so much. Um, real quick, Allie is working on all of the Wrenchworks orders that happened online this weekend. We're gonna be getting those shipped out. To Monday is actually a holiday. The post office is closed. Everything will be ready to go and go out the following day. I can guarantee you that. We are also gonna be updating, depending on what time this video goes up, it might be still a little bit or it might have already happened. We're gonna be updating quantities on wrenchworks.com of the oh, the whole whole entire inventory. Um, there was a lot of miscellaneous sizes that we may or may not have had. So if, if you guys were one of those people and still wanna get in on the mini giveaway for this little mini launch, which is gonna be ending in the next couple days, go to wrenchworks.com, check and see if we have the combination of the size and the shirt or whatever you may have needed there or maybe didn't see. It's, the inventory is gonna be updated very, very soon. What we are giving away, if you did or did not know, is a brand new MBRP four to five inch exhaust tip and a half inch drive snap on brand new extension set. So we're gonna be ending that very, very soon in the next couple days, definitely by the end of the week. So make sure you guys get in on that, get that limited green t-shirt. We are pretty much almost out of them. So wrenchworks.com, that's done, on to the PO box. All right, guys, as always, PO box is always down in the description if you wanna send anything. First one here is from the Jessup's, I believe, it just says Jessup's, so I'm assuming it's the Jessup's. So, um, the box, I don't know if the box gives it away or not, it says the ultimate dash cover, so I'm not sure if it's a reused box or what, but we are gonna find out. I have a note here. Hey Greg, mine takes the glare out of my window, hope this works for you, enjoy. Jessup's. Let's see here. So it might be, it might be a dash cover. Check that out. All right, this is a dash cover. Look at that. Oh, whoa. Oh, we got a Wrenchworks logo. Take a look at that. That is spot on. All right, well, we're not at the shop, but we're going to have to make sure we include this. That is sweet. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Throw this right back in here. Make sure we don't mess that up. Next up, um, oh, George. George, this is from Australia. <laughs> George from Australia, I can already tell you, thank you very much, man, I appreciate it. Got a note in here. 
Hi Greg and Allie, just a note to say thanks for all, thanks for the channel, I really enjoy watching and learning from you all. Greetings from the rest of the crew, especially Mr. Senna, keep up the great work. Best for 2018, especially pregnancy and birth, praying that all goes well. Here's a souvenir in the shop yesterday, I decided to give you a new gift on the way down under. Kangaroos were... <laughs> George. <laughs> What does that look like, boys? <laughs> Kate? Oh boy. All right, there we go. Would you look at that? Would you just. <laughs> well, George, thank you very much. We will find a special place to put this. <laughs> All right, so that's going to do it for the P.O. box as of now. We have some more race truck parts rolling in, which we're going to get to in tomorrow's video. So make sure you guys are subscribed, liking the videos, and stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We're going to now go to the Q&A. So again, if you guys follow my Instagram, you know that I posted a picture and said, send me some uh, questions so we can do a little Q&A here. Um, maybe give you guys some more insight on what's to come and whatever else you guys want to know. Uh, before we do that, I did actually film a little bit at Motorama. Um, uh, one last thing I forgot to hint on when I was talking about that is very, very difficult. I have a plan for the future how we can get better at being able to film while we're there, or maybe with the help of another person uh, that's kind of in charge of capturing that. Um, when I'm at these events, you know, the guys that travel, uh, you know, sometimes pretty far to kind of hang out and talk, you know, I want to want to be aware of that and, you know, spend time with those people, um, which obviously you guys aren't there. You're not local. I don't expect people to, you know, fly in forever just for an event that I'm at. If you want to do that, that's great. But, um, you know, it's, it's very difficult to try and, uh, balance and juggle a lot of different things while you're at the event. So I'm going to try and get better at doing that moving forward, capturing, you know, what we're doing and other cool things that are going on there in the future. So, just want to throw that in there as well. I know it's been like, Greg, you're at a show with all these things, like where, where is that stuff? But we're going to play that. First question in the DMs for the Q&A from the.amazing.mr.anderson. Can you switch an early third gen computer to a later computer for EFI Live purposes or is that unrealistic? Um, short answer, kind of unrealistic. Um, when I had my pull truck, even though I had an 06 front end, that was actually 0305 truck. Um, we did end up switching that to a kind of a standalone with the 06 computer um, for a daily driver purposes. I don't think anyone's really integrated how to control your dash, so you lose a lot of pretty much all of your dash functions, all of the normal daily driver things that you would want to see in your cluster. So for competition use, it's really uh, not too difficult, but for daily driver, creature comforts kind of thing, uh, not really. Um, right now, uh, Smarty MM3 and HP tuners are very comparable, very good option for custom tuning uh, for 03 to 05 trucks. So that is what I'm gonna be using in the 05, um, not really switching to EFI Live, um, a lot more involved than just quick, simple computer swap. 
Next one from Dan Grabs. A couple different questions. How'd you get into the diesel performance? How'd you learn to work on your trucks? And how do you feel about Raceway Park, which is a very local track to me that hosts a very large uh, event for big rigs and diesel trucks? Um, they recently shut down and will not be doing that event. I don't know if they're not going to be doing that event. I don't think there's going to be any racing there at all. And they actually had uh, hosted big NHR races, I think at least once, like a national or something. I never went there for that, but they hosted a big event, which really, it does. I I mean, long, short answer is it, it, it sucks. Um, I think they're going to turn it into like a rental car parking area. You know, typical, I think they built a bunch of houses around it and people dealt with it. You know, racetrack was there first. It's been there forever. And the way of the world, you know, they can't deal with the noise, which it's it basically sucks. Um, I got into diesels. I actually went to school for automotive performance. Um, I had cars at that time and came home and that was when diesel was always trying to like, oh cool, you can do this to a diesel. And I always was fascinated with the idea of, you know, being able to race and beat cars in a heavy diesel truck and kind of like the best of both worlds. So ever since then, it kind of just steamrolled in diesels where I've always been. But um, how I was taught schooling is great um it gives you the fundamentals especially if you don't know anything how you're going to learn is hands-on doing it yourself uh forums can be the best your best friend or they can be your worst enemy depending on how you're listening and how you're everybody has an opinion and everybody sometimes always thinks they're right so um diy forum stuff like how to do injectors or youtube videos stuff like that that's how i kind of sort of learned uh with the help of other people that have already kind of been in the industry helping me along as well but um it's really just you know, you buy a set of injectors, they're expensive, you know, for somebody to put them in, that's another extra kind of dollars. Like there's so many things out there now that can give you step-by-step -step procedures, give you the tools that you need. You can kind of go into the job prepared and learn along the way. So that's kind of a little bit of the background on how I got to where I'm at now. Next question from Nick Davis is basically about a meetup uh, before we possibly move um, and stuff like that. Um, I would love to do kind of like a local meetup, um, kind of maybe do like my own show, maybe with somebody else or, you know, get kind of just like take away everything else, but do like a meetup, kind of like a truck show, maybe do something like that and have me kind of organize and host it somewhere. I'm not really sure. It's it's definitely something I'd be interested in doing. The injector size in the first gen, what are your horsepower goals with it? Um, I'm actually going to pause here and kind of talk about, I got a lot of questions at the event and I, and I see scrolling through some of these, it's kind of like the same uh, question. It's really just about the overall direction of each truck where they're at now. Um, so a lot of you guys may not have been here since like the the triple turbo 05 quad cab truck that you always see sitting in the corner of the shop that used to be the truck i raced the silver truck that we bought and we raced at the second call out challenge is now the new race truck that's why we're getting the cage put in everything else that's going to be a full-blown drag truck the 05 truck is going to go back to a street driven daily kind of you know back on the street now my plan is to race that truck you know we are going to be getting the end and i'm sorry john from freedom racing engines was the john that we were talking to before we are getting a new engine for the 05 as well so once we get that which it's actually done we're planning on to go get it we're planning on you know doing a lot of cool things out there when i get it um so it's done we got to go get it the 05 is going to take over racing duty uh not at that power level until the race truck is done and along with that i want to dyno race the the first gen as well so when the drag truck is done the projected time frame for the drag truck and this might be ambitious i'm going to do my best i'm not going to rush putting the drag truck together just because of how serious and, and everything else like i'm not going to cut corners we're not going to rush to try and get it on the track now what i think is possible is maybe halfway through the season and you know make a couple passes maybe towards you know three quarters of the way through the season once all the bugs get worked out everything else what i want to do along with traveling more is once you start getting down into north carolina tracks don't really close so if i have to do a little bit more traveling that's one thing that i want to do better this year is when the winter time comes don't just fly everything apart let's continue to keep racing just with a little bit more traveling maybe do some more of it my phone but that's the general plan. The first gen has 5x18s in it right now from Thin Air Diesel, which will have to get sent back off to get uh, re-popped, I believe, for the um, P-Pump stuff. I have all the P-Pump stuff. We're going to be P-Pumping it probably sooner than later. I would like to try and drive, use the first gen, get all the other uh, bugs worked out of it, do some burnout, stuff like that. 
and then maybe do the P pump swap after we get some maybe like some baseline stuff done. So hopefully that answers some of the questions. Uh, as far as the, I'm gonna turn my phone on vibrate now. The horsepower goals for the 05 are kind of up in the air. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna talk to Fleece, we're gonna we're gonna get a game plan together and really just maybe do this thing in stages. Maybe we'll jump. I don't know on the 05 as of yet. All I know is that the engine's done. We need to go out there and grab it and come back and get that thing put together. So definitely uh, everyone that's been looking forward to getting the 05 back on the street, so have I. It's coming very, very soon. Uh, the drag truck, and I'm rambling too long on this part, but the drag truck is still up at Coker Chassis getting the cage work done. Uh, they're continuing to work on that every day and also finish you know, the, up the fiberglass and all of the miscellaneous stuff too as well. And I actually, last time I was there, we added a little bit more work on top of what was already there. So hoping that's a month to, I'm not really sure, fab work. Again, art takes time. Don't want him rushing that. So whatever it takes we're gonna do so but i'll be back up there we'll give you guys an update on that quite a bit of questions about the wheels and tires on the tow rig again which we've been over a bunch of different times but i know it gets sporadic in there so uh they are 305 45 22s uh which are on a 22 by 12 wheel um no issues they don't rub they don't rub because i have extended control arms from top gun customs which push the axle forward just an ever so slight amount uh, they do rub the front of the plastic bumper which we trim just ever so slightly not even on the front side that you can see it's actually rubs on the where it's folded over so you can't even really see that it actually is rubbed anywhere and we didn't have to trim any of the metal which was the whole point of doing extended control arms on a stock truck height uh stock height truck they only it only pushed the axle forward maybe like half to three quarters of an inch they are the ones on they're not adjustable they are like the four or five hundred dollar ones that you know say they push them out like seven eighths of an inch or I, it's for like it's four lifted trucks so you can recenter after you uh level trucks i'm sorry so after you level a truck they can maintain that correct spacing um another question that i read is about the airbag setup on there with the traction bars which i'm actually going to take you guys out let me i'm going to take my key out so it stops dinging but let me take you guys out here and show you guys how i did my airbags so don't judge the dirtiness obviously we we're driving this in the winter time you can kind of see i have welded the actual airbag mount underneath and then the traction bar mount is right underneath that welded as well now if you're doing u-bolt stuff um, that kind of clamps around it you're not going to have enough room but my bottom mount is actually welded to the axle in a couple just just very small all that mount is really held in by is a u-bolt clamp which usually sits right around here so i took that out kind of just welded just a little bit there in case it ever has to come off again it's not completely you know crazy welded and then the traction bar mounts are welded right underneath that welding it gives you enough space to not have to clamp anything a lot of questions about the baby i actually on one video i had a subtitle that said like one month left to go um it's actually two months it's actually two months it's uh end of april which a lot of questions are about uh events as well like rudy's and ucc um that is really gonna come down to when the baby comes um well we may or may not have a name and we may or may not know the gender which will come at a separate time not in today's video um but that's really gonna hinge off of early later you know i'm gonna try to get to everything um thanks to one of you guys um i do have tickets uh for ucc so hopefully uh we do get to go and yeah will you buy another bike not in the plans right now are you going to ucc just answer that why no second gen love um i would love another second gen honestly um it just kind of comes down to like how many trucks is Greg gonna like? You can, you can only drive one at a time, so you know I'd I'd love to kind of have one of one of everything and keep doing it like that. But as of right now, I mean, who knows? Maybe one day, maybe I'll have one of one of everything. But as of right now, it's like, you know, how do I how do I justify that? So um, there's other and and there's other great guys out there that do uh, second gen videos as well. How is daily driving the 12 wides and the, do you like the tire? I didn't really mention that. I love the Hankook Dynapros that are on there. They're awesome. I have quite a bit of heavy towing miles on them. I've been very bad with rotating them and they still have done really well. T driving with 12 wides, um, you're going to beat up your front end just a little bit faster than you would normally, but I haven't had anything normally out of the normal that I wouldn't not recommend running them. Do you plan on taking trucks to SEMA with a Wrenchworks booth? 
SEMA is, it's funny, me and Josh from Dirty Diesels were talking about this. I think the price for a booth or to have a truck at SEMA is like, it's like a year's salary, pretty much. It's it's insane. Like, the, it's, it's no, the answer, the short answer would be no, definitely, definitely not. Maybe I would love to go. We're probably, we, we might actually go walk around, hang out and be there. A, a booth and trucks there? No, no, probably not. Will you and Street Speed 717 ever race your projects? We were actually supposed to race our projects at the first call, or was it the first call? Yes, the first call out challenge where he blew up the rear end in the Corvette and I blew my entire engine up. So we both broke, but we were actually supposed to, that was gonna be a, a pretty big thing um, and it just never happened. So eventually, yes, I would love to really race pretty much all, everyone that has fast stuff and hopefully the drag truck towards the end will make it to one of the call out challenges. Are you gonna keep a stack in the 05 when it goes back on the road? Um, as of right now, I think it might stay. I'm not, I could go either way on that one too. Kinda a lot of these questions, I'm really not really decided. I kinda decide as everything is happening. I think the stack is probably gonna stay in it for now. A lot of questions about lifting stuff, uh, maybe lifting the 05. Um, I actually had, this, this the 08 had three inch uh, progressive coils in it and it had quite a beefier setup on it. I would ultimately, let's just say not mind if the 08, I like lifting longer wheelbase trucks, if that makes sense. The four-door short beds, while I think they can be lifted nicely and look in my just personal choice, four-door long beds lifted the longer the truck i think looks more proportional to the height so the 08 i wouldn't mind if got lifted back up again there's one on here about painting chrome parts um you can sandblast them you can prep them it's all in the it's all in the prep i think mark has done this before um you spray a special type of adhesion promoter on the bumpers and stuff like that. i'm assuming that you're talking about chrome bumpers and uh painting them paint matched um that's the normal question is usually a lot of times if you do a good job prepping uh preparing that surface i've sandblasted them before um and not not heavy sand and that way with that adhesion promoter the paint will actually stick and adhere to chrome parts a lot of people don't like doing it that way if you have a paintable option that's always kind of a better option as well and maybe you can do that before you even take your other ones off two last questions how old am i and what is the next event that we will be at um i'm not sure about the next event i will always tell you guys on here on my instagram i'm going to try and actually maybe do something on the website as well um of all the events that i'm going to try and do uh, me josh and mikey g and, and john were all talking about that while we were out there about uh upcoming events that we can all do together it would be awesome so i'm going to try and do a lot of events this year uh, a lot of you know dinoing racing stuff like that and i am 20 nine years old i'm gonna be 30 october early october is when my birthday is and that's pretty much gonna do it for the q a thank you guys so much for asking the questions i appreciate it like i mentioned previously we're gonna be rolling right back into the normal video schedule just taking a little bit of time to catch up here to get reorientated back in the the normal weekday schedule um again thank you guys hit the like button before you leave subscribe if you have not already see you guys tomorrow